All right, scholars, all my little scientists, today we're going to be talking about another awesome scientific word. Today, we're going to be talking about a word called condensation. And what is condensation? Well, we've been talking about that matter changes. Matter changes can, can change between states. We know that an ice cube, whenever it's, uh, it, when we add thermal energy to an ice cube, that the, the ice that's a solid will begin to turn into a liquid state of matter that we call a, a liquid, we call it water. Now, we're going to go the other direction, and we also know that when we have water, if we continue to heat our water and it gets to its boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius, that the water will change from a liquid into a gas, and that gas is called water vapor. But condensation is actually coming back the other way. Whenever it's a gas called water vapor, Condensation is what happens whenever it changes from a gas back into a liquid. It's a cycle. We can go all the way around. We can change from a liquid into a gas. We can change from a gas back into a liquid. We can change from a liquid to a solid. We can change from a solid back to a liquid. It's a cycle. It can happen over and over and over and over and over again. Now, still have our safety equipment, have our gloves on, we still have our goggles on, we still have our beaker, we still have our very hot, hot plate. Now, if you've ever been to the, we've all been to like McDonald's or Burger King or some kind of fast food where we're sitting there and we have our cup and it's full of ice and all of a sudden when we let it sit for too long, I go to touch the outside of my cup and I notice that the cup has water on Like where did the water come from? How is that even possible? Why are my hands wet? Another time that this happens is that if you've ever been hurt and you had to put ice off in a bag and you stick it on the body part, you'll notice that if you leave it there too long, it starts to leave water on your hand. And it's like, but the ice was inside the bag. How is this even possible that it's on the outside? Where did it come from? It all has to do with condensation. Both of those are examples of condensation. You have the cool ice inside the bag, but you have the warm air on the outside. And so that temperature changes is changing the water vapor that's in the air back into a liquid on the outside of your bag. Another way that we can evidence condensation other than our cups or whenever we're hurt and we're putting ice on is if we have a hot plate. And we take our hot plate and we have our beaker. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our temperature on, not before we do our safety goggles, of course. We're going to turn our temperature on low because I want the temperature of the water in the beaker to start to greatly deep increase. But then I'm going to take something and I'm going to stick it on top. And I'm going to make sure that this temperature gets really, really cold. So what I want is I want there to be a temperature change from the beaker to the foil pan. Now, if we do this correctly, what's going to happen is, is that your, remember our three words. Let's go over our three words real quick before we even talk about it. We make a prediction. We can observe our prediction. And the whole time we are recording our information because that's what scientists do. Now, let me ask you, what do you think is going to happen? Why would I even set this up like this? How is this going to give us an example of condensation? How is this going to show us that when a gas is cooled, when a gas water vapor is cooled, it turns back into the liquid that we call water? This is also a great model of the water cycle. Why would I even say that? How can I prove it? It's there. I promise you. It's all science. It's all awesome. And it's all observable. Do you see? It's already happening. It is already happening. Okay. So right now what's happening is this water in this beaker is being heated. The water is reaching a very hot temperature, 100 degrees Celsius, and I know that because I can start to see evaporation occurring. The water vapor is rising up. Water is being changed from a liquid into a gas, and that gas is rising up in the air. Now it's rising because it's hot. So what's gonna happen if I cool it off? What happens if I cool these gases that are right here off? Well. Let's see, we're gonna keep it going for a little bit longer because I want it to be very, 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 very visible. I want you to be able to see it quite easily. Oh yeah, that's good right there. 
All right, so when I look at the bottom of my full pan, you're gonna see there's actually water all over the place. There's water all on the bottom. Let's get this glove off so you can see it. There's water all on the bottom. There was water all on the inside. So what happened? How did that even happen? Well, the gas was hot and it was rising in the air. It changed from a liquid into water vapor, the gas form of water. But because the ice was in the pan, when the water vapor hit the pan, it cooled the temperature back down. It started to cool it back down really, really fast. So then the gas is going to change back into a liquid and that was the liquid that we were actually able to feel and see on the bottom of our pan and that scholars is condensation condensation is when a gas changes back into a liquid and we can evidence that in so many little things that we do i hope you guys enjoyed the investigation today this is awesome science this is what we've got to learn you guys are amazing you're going to do amazing things you're going to change the world because that's what awesome scholar scientists do we will be back with more amazing science soon i want you to think i want you to write and i want you to record when was the time that you have observed condensation happen but I want you to explain in your journal, how do you know it was condensation? What was happening? It could be one of the examples that we use today. It's perfectly okay. As long as you can explain it in detail, then that means that you understand it in detail. And that means that you got it. You have got it. Have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon.